in this series of tutorials, we'll be projection mapping a house. In this video, we will be preparing our video animation for projection mapping on a house in After Effects. I wish it were just a case of taking our rendered animation and mapping it wholesale to the house, but you'll run into some issues if you do that. I want to split out things that don't exist on the same plane. For example, with the two parts of this house, this main part and then the smaller extension on the right, the extension is slightly set back so I need to map these two parts separately. Similarly, with the two roofs, they're doing their own thing, so they need to be split out too. I'm ignoring the porch because it doesn't have much surface to put content on, so that's four bits of separate content. But since we made our masks when we made our guide right at the beginning, this process is going to be made much easier. Import your animation and drag it into a new comp. Call it Put Video Content Here. Then drag that into another comp. Call it Mapping Setup. What this means is that whatever we set up in here, in our Mapping Setup comp, all our mapping, our masks, whatever, you can always replace the video content inside the Video Content comp and it will update with all the mapping applied to it. So really what we're making here is a very useful preset project into which you can plug in other video content and adjust each time you want to put a projection mapping show on your house. You can compose in here. So you could have one clip follow another with a transition. You could also put music in here. This is where you compose your show. Find your house guide and drag it into your video content comp. Why are we doing this? We're going to projection map the image of the house onto the real house and try to match up the details, windows, chimneys, etc. That way we know the animation we designed using this house image is going to match up to the real physical house. Find your masked solids and copy them into your mapping setup. We're going to use these to help quickly trim off parts of content we don't want. As I said before, I want separate video content for four sections. The left part of the house, the left roof, the right part of the house and the right roof. We don't actually need the windows or the porch in here. Duplicate your animation video content for as many sections as you need. I'm going to pre-compose each of these. This means that the layers get nested inside another comp so we can more efficiently apply effects to them together. To do that, select the layers you want to pre-compose and go to Layer, Pre-compose. Do this for all the sections of the house. Now head inside one of the comps. Use this region of interest box and pull it around the masked solid as close as you can without cutting anything off. Then go to Composition, Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Now set the mode of the masked solid to Stencil Alpha. What this means is that nothing will be visible outside this shape we're cutting off content that doesn't belong in the area we're interested in. Do the same for the other sections. So now these comps are trimmed to size, which will help us for the next phase. We're prepped and ready to go outside and start mapping. We're going to be adding corner pin effects to these layers and pulling them into place on the house, which is the mapping part of the process. 
Save this scene because you can use this anytime you want to map your house. That might be next year for Christmas or Halloween, or even if you're in the middle of mapping and it starts to rain and you need to bring your projector inside, the next time you set it up, and it doesn't need to be in the same position, you'll use this scene and adjust the corner points for the new orientation of the house. Do you have any questions so far? Share them in the comments and see you in the next tutorial.